Hello and welcome. <laughs> did you, why did I creep in? Hello and welcome to an episode of Robocraft with me, Table. We are building planes. Oh, look at you. You are... What are you? We can delete you. Now, I can't just delete the bay. Because I've got like 400 and so, so bays, if I just delete them... Uh, M for mirror mode, by the way, new players. Uh, if you just delete them, it gets rid of the bay. So I've got to come in here and manually delete stuff to maintain the sheer volume of bays that I have. Right, okay, so we're building. Uh, we're going to go for a flying wing. Now, this is going to be a little bit difficult to make. Um, the governing factor is going to be the positioning of engines and the angle of the wing. Now, I'd like to do just slopes together, but that will make a 45 degree angle. And that is too sharp for what I have in mind. So, unfortunately, we can't have that. I'm going to go large engines because it is like a giant heavy duty, heavy duty bomber. So if I have two like that, that's a little bit close. But I, I guess we're not going to be able to ha have it too far out. We're really not. So let's just do... Um, I just need to whack on something like this. And Y will become clear very soon. There we go. So I need to have that on as like an indicating factor. So we've got that. They're much closer together than I would prefer. I will be honest with you. Um, let's see what we can do. I mean, I could try for triple engine. Triple engine kind of appeals to me because there's a, there's a four engine and a six engine variant. So maybe, maybe that could work. I'm really interested to see what I can manage here. Let's see. Uh, okay, so that's two. And we're coming to the edge there, aren't we? Like, there's, we've got to see how far out we can put this wing. Um, so that's the maximum it can be. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of where we're gonna get there. Uh, let's see, how's that for size? That's okay. I mean, if we're gonna, where the hmm, hmm, gotta get these positions right. I feel like I can push that out maybe just a little bit more, like so. Let's do that. Yeah, let's go two for that one, and then take this one off and go one there. How's that? That, buddy old pal, is good, but the wing is on an angle. So, I know it looks really ugly at the moment, but this straight line is not the back of it. It has an angle. The reason I wanted to get the engines on first is because they're going to have their own housing of sorts. So, let's do that, and then uh, it kind of comes in. So this bit would continue along a little bit and then meld into the to the wing shape. So the wing actually might be lower than this. Because it's important that I have these engines sticking out one block and going working their way into the fuse fu into the fuselage the fuselage. So let's do that, right? Now, I mean we could have it like that, and I probably will have it like that actually. Let's just put those in. Like so. You know what, let's just continue that all the way along keep it like that there we go oh so that's now decided to turn white for some reason okay there we go we have that in there and then these ones will be the same only slightly smaller there we go engine housing done why is that why does it do that it doesn't like working independently of sections there we go uh there we go cool now we just want to add on these bits there we go so I know it looks a little bit basic at the moment, but a flying wing is, it's a simple design. Getting this thing to fly is a different story entirely. I don't know how we're going to manage that. But for now, we've got those engines on, which is good. So that means that this height is our top layer. Okay, so we've got that done. That is our top layer right there. And then we need to figure out this wings, uh, this wings, what can I say? Um, angle now the back of the wing is slightly less than the front like the front is more sharp so this can be more gradual but it does need to kick out so let's go like here and then maybe maybe something like this maybe on the third one we kick it out like that and we do that we might just have to have it like that because it is gradual so we can do that and then on this wing obviously like it's nearer the edge so what we can do is we can kick that out after two. And then that can become the wingtip there. And then we can push that in because we know we've got an extra block there. We already know the size ahead of time. And we can do that. 
Let's have a look. How do we feel about that? Um, I'll be honest, I could probably just do that there and have the engine as the dividing line. Yeah, okay. Right, that's our wing. Now, I really don't want to get stuck into the trap of um, working top down with this. So, I need to kind of put in the bottom layer now, really, to be honest. And then we'll get the wings in, so... Now, on the picture I looked at, it had something like this going on, and I kind of liked that it had, like, a rear view port, because it is a bomber. So I kind of liked that. I'm so glad that I'm building this the right way around, because that would be a bit of a nightmare. Now, hmm, this is going to be a problem. So we need to go two down, right? We go two down. One, two. And that is our bottom. That will be the wing. However, no, it will be too big. We can't go to, yeah, I could get more wings in. This is the issue, right? I was going to go three blocks deep so that the wings would occupy the middle space and the blocks would cover that. If I go two, it gives me more space internally to put more wings, but it makes the thing thicker. And I don't really want the aircraft to be thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk it and go for the one block, the one block variant. So what we need to do is I have to put in a load of blocks, like a shite load of blocks here, like just an immense amount of blocks. Now, I'm probably going to have to just do this because I am i can't do it the way I did. I can't do individual clicks in this one. Um, let's just do, so let's follow the wing. That goes like that. That's fine. Or it doesn't actually. They mount on like that. Let's finish these engine sections. So they just eat into the wing like so. No, like so. And we do the same here. And here. Yeah, okay. And then the wing will follow the design that I already laid out. So it will be the same uh, until we get to the bottom one. That is not meant to be like that. It's got to go in like so. There we go. Ah, but the wing continues out here. So we've got to do that. Okay, fine. Let's just maintain that. Yeah, free thick is about as thick as I'm going to go. Because, I, yeah, it will be too clunky else. Okay, so we go down like that. Then we do the same here. No, wait, 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 wait. That's wrong. It goes here. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the bottom. Now, there's definitely some work, some finesse there. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the basic shape um the basic shape sorted out so uh there we go let's just whack that in Whoop. yep cool there's gonna be enough room in here for wingspan and stuff i am a little bit concerned about steering rudders but i'm gonna try and make it fly as a wing alone for now and then, frankly, if I get it working, that'll be a, a miracle. Let's just fill that in. Do that. I shouldn't... Did that the wrong way around. Okay. So, yeah, it's a massive wadge of blocks. Now, I could have used the lightweight blocks, but the simple truth is they use three times as much CPU. And I, I'm, I'm going to be hard-pushed to get this in under, uh, under megabot size anyway. Right. So, let's continue this bottom layer. Because this is the layer I've got to get done first, really. Let's just push that... Oh, hang on a second. We could just add it all on here. So I was thinking two blocks in one. That's what I was thinking for the wing, the wing shape. Two blocks slope, two blocks slope. That's what I was thinking. Because uh, <laughs> I, I really, I really worried this isn't gonna fly. I'm really worried that we're gonna spend a lot of time on this and it's just not gonna fly. What it will do is cast an amazing silhouette on the ground. Come on. Ambitious builds for the win. Will it fly? Won't it? Who knows? I don't. Let's just keep going. Now, the trouble is, for all these blocks I've had to put place on this bit, I'm going to have to do the same on the top. And it's going to look really flat and stale. So, that's the problem that I'm having with this. I mean, the amount of weight I'm putting on here. Because I could reduce it by a factor of three. If I've got to swap these out, I will cry. Okay, where are we at now? Oh, so the wing goes out a lot further. Okay. Let's just uh, push that to there. And then push in a row of blocks there. I, I mean, with this much thrust at the front, 
I'm going to have to hide some engines in the nose to counteract it. Right, so, what was the deal? We're going to go two and then one in, weren't we? So we're going to go two, and then this one goes in. And then one, two, and then that one goes in. One, two, and then that one goes in. One, two, and then that one goes in. One, two, that one goes in. One, two, let's have a look. That is too gradual. That is too gradual for a flying wing. Okay, so we're going to have to do this the other way around. So we go one, two, in. 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 Uh, one, two, in. That is still too gradual. Oh, we might be able to do one. We might have to do. We might have to do more than one. Actually, let's let's have a look at this. Might have to cut in even sharper. That's more. That's more like it as far as the sharpness is concerned. I put in way too many blocks there. Let's just see if I can't cheekily cut across like this. Yeah, there we go. That is. Hmm. Maybe to begin with and then increase it more at the front. Maybe we could do that. Oh, that's not so bad. Maybe I should do doubles all the way along. I don't know. That's kind of more curved, isn't it? How do we feel about that? Are we all right with a curve? I think I'm all right with a curve. I think I'm okay with that. Now what we've got to do is try and get this hunk of shape to fly. And I'm really concerned about that. Um, if I have to, I'll make the top layer uh, lightweight. You know, if I have to. So let's just do that. And then we want like a little nose sticking out. Just a little. That's like the nose of the thing. So let's just make sure that's on. There we go. Cool. And let's extend that over. If this flies, it'll be a friggin' a friggin' miracle if I can get this shape to fly. Um, Albatross wings. Let's just whack those in there. One, two can't do three but I can do smaller wings let's try let's try those they will go in but they give me no no margin for error there at all so I might have to just try let's just try that and see what happens I don't think that's nowhere near enough lift I think I'm gonna have a real issue here and I'm starting to think that maybe I should have gone double <laughs> oh Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, man, I'm doomed. I'm absolutely doomed. Absolutely doomed. What can I figure out here? Um, rudders will help. Probably going to have to... De now, rather than redoing the bottom layer and making that one lower, what I can do is I can raise the engines up one and then I can get double wing layer in. So let's just try, try that. Now, obviously, a lot of my thrust is coming from the front. So what I was thinking to solve that is by doing something like this and to have some thrust to pull it forward. Um, now, that, unfortunately, is going to be really hard to hide. But if I just push that forward one, then I can, can't I? I can just do that, can't I? I mean, I'll make it look a little bit more elegant, but that would essentially be, that would essentially be the front. Now, let's test this. So... Should I go ahead and bump the engines up one anyway? I think we're going to have to, aren't we? I think I'm going to have to bump these engines up one. So I'm just going to have to redesign all of this bit and just move it all up one, basically. Like so. I know it's unfortunate that we've had to do that. Like, I hate redoing bits. But in the interest of getting this freaking thing to fly, I think it will be worth it. So let's just do that. There we go. Uh, no. Nope. Fantastic. And see, there's a reason why people don't build flying wings in this game because they're really hard to work. They're really, like, they're really tough to get working inside the 
the mechanic of this game. Right, so we've got that on there. These ones are not done. Let's just quickly whack those on. I could have gone smaller wings, but I wanted it to look really grandiose. Really, like, really, I wanted it to look like a big aircraft, you know? Uh, what are we on? 1663. This is probably going to go Megabot. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie to you. It's probably going to become a Mega Flyer. Um, but that's all right, isn't it, really? There we go. And then these bits. On you go. Okay, cool. Wings raised. Uh, engines raised, sorry. So now we can do this. Another set there. Oh, they're on the wrong way around. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Second set on there. Here, I can get extra rudders in, which I'm definitely thinking I should do, because that's going to definitely help me with uh, stabilizing this sucker. So let's just go like that and then go albatross rudders and see how much we can get in there. We can definitely get two pairs in. Cool. And this looks like a prime spot for some little cheeky uh, hawk rudders. And it won't let me. Okay. Fine. I kind of like the idea of doing this. I don't know if that's shite or good. But I kind of like it. Let's go for another test. I, I can get it flying. I can get it flying. It might take us... <clears throat> excuse me. It might take us ages to get working, but I reckon I can get this thing flying. And dolly up. It turns like a bus. Right, we're going to have to put on large rudders, turning engines, if that's indeed a thing, and uh, I'm not sure what else. <laughs> I'm not sure what else. I'm not... I, might, I will start working in light blocks now. Um, but I'm not replacing old blocks. I'd rather just give it more lift. It's definitely got forward speed. It's definitely got that. So let's just go here and go to these ones and replace those for those. We've officially hit Megabot level. And that's okay. Um, I want to put in... Let's do that and that, right? And I want to put in op engines. Now I'm going to have to go to these panthers in the interest of op thrust. And then what we can do is I can do this and that. And we can whack in. Oh, no, wait. I've got to go one more out, haven't I? Oops. Like that. There we go. Start working in light blocks table, you fool. We'll do that. Okay. Right. So that's on. Um... Will I test? Won't I test? I'll test. I'll test. Bigger rudders, more turning force. Thrusters to point upwards, but the wings get a little bit confused with these things. Up, up, up. Up. <laughs> okay. That sort of... Uh, come on. Flying wing. Up, 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 up. Sort of. It sort of does fly. Okay. I've got helium. Ah, helium. Helium will help me out. Helium's definitely going to help me out. That's very flat on the bottom there. Okay. Oh, these weird planes are tough to fly. This might be a two-parter. Where are we at? We're coming up on 20 minutes. It might have to be a two-parter because this thing is a bit of a friggin' beast. Yeah. Let's, let, well, we've got another minute. Let's, let's carry on. Let's see what we can do. Um... Haven't done any of the cosmetic stuff. <laughs> oh, Table, what are you doing to yourself? Why are you making these challenges for yourself? We've got more wings in. Um, I need more of something. What is it I need? What do I need on this design? Do I want to do that? I don't even need that. Hmm. What do I need? That is the question. I need to... Hmm. I mean, we can't get any more in this layer, can we? We can't get any, in any more engines or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whack in this top layer. You know? I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. And if I need to, I'll start covering the top in helium and modifying that a little bit and giving us some lift on the top. But we will see. So the nose, it wants to nose, it wants to nose up when it flies. 
So if I add helium to the back and normal blocks to the front, that will that will encourage it to fly right, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just whack that on. And this, there we go. Let's try that. I am very interested in trying this idea. Let's just put these on here. No. I can get this to fly. I can get this to fly for sure. Hopefully. <laughs> right, we're going to do, do this in two parts. I've been Taylor. Thanks so much for watching. That's part one of the flying wing. In the meantime, I will see you again soon for another video. Take care. I'll see you soon. Oh, subscribe, like, and blah, blah. blah, blah.